Hello Aquarius, this is Renee and welcome back. We're going to take a look at your May reading. What's going on for Aquarius in May? We're going to take a look and see what's going on in your love life as well as your finances. And I'm going to pull a fortune oracle card and I'm going to read the extended meaning at the end. We're also going to take a look at what's challenging you this month and get some advice. And also at the very end, I'll pull your angel number as usual. So let's go ahead and get into your energy. My beautiful Aquarius. What energy do we have for Aquarius when it comes to love? We have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Oh, we also have at the bottom separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Uh, so I feel like some time or space apart is what you really need at this moment. Maybe to regroup or get your thoughts together or actually you know, the person that you're with may not be the person that you're destined to be with forever. It may be the person that you're destined to learn some lessons with. All right. So let's take a look and see what we have for Aquarius in love. Excuse me, in money. Okay, we have you and your loved ones are safe. Okay, so I feel like when it comes to your finances... You know, you're being protected. We also have have faith in your dreams. So maybe something that you've been dreaming about starting in the month of May is going to be more uh, clear to you on how to start this, right? Where to go next, how to pursue your dreams. Okay, let's go ahead and get your angel card. Let's see what angel guidance we have. For Aquarius. Okay, we have, you know what to do. Archangel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. So I feel like your inner voice is telling you something. And I feel like it's a time to listen to that inner voice. It could be, you know, you're going through some kind of cycle. You know, you're going through um, some kind of ending at the moment. Archangel Haniel, notice how the moon affects your energy and your manifestations and capitalize upon these cycles. Okay, so you, you could be going through some changes at the moment, my lovely Aquarius. Okay, let's go ahead and get into your love reading. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius and love. And we will clarify after we see the challenge. Okay, what do we have for Aquarius and Love? One more shuffle. Okay. Give me a message for Aquarius, please, Spirit. Give me a message for Aquarius. What do they need to know for their highest good? Give me a message for Aquarius on their love life. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups. So your overall energy is the Eight of Cups. So I feel like there's definitely something that you're leaving behind. There's something that you're moving past. And I see that you're going through healing. You may be literally moving at this moment, but I feel like it's just moving forward, right? You're moving forward in your situation, moving forward with your plans. The universe could be just moving you in a different direction, right? We have the Nine of Cups energy on the bottom. So I really feel like you're moving towards your wish fulfillment. You're, you're moving towards more satisfaction, more fulfillment in your life. And I feel like whatever doesn't fulfill you any longer, you're like leaving the energy behind because you're in this healing mode, Aquarius. 
you're moving forward in possibly a new direction that you haven't been through before. And with this page of Pentacles energy, I feel like you have a desire for more. You have a desire for more out of life. You know, there, there's something more that you're looking for. With this Ace of Swords energy, I'm really getting that you're, you're looking about things to become more clear. You know, you're trying to find the answers. You're trying to figure things out. You could be like working things out in your head, trying to decide which way you're going to go, which direction. But I feel like the universe is, is leading you in a direction that's taking you into your fulfillment, as we see with the um, Nine of Cups energy. And this is bringing more of a satisfaction, more of a feeling of contentment because you know whatever that that you're leaving whatever situation you're leaving behind you know that it wasn't bringing you true happiness it wasn't giving you what you need you were feeling very unsatisfied and you really want and you know that you deserve more right we have the uh, nine of cups the six of pinnacles the queen of cups in reverse and the four of wands so you're looking for that person who's going to make you feel mentally fulfilled as well as physically fulfilled and i don't feel like you found that person just yet we have the lovers in reverse and the three of cups in reverse but we do have the strength and the upright so i know that you're very strong at this time you're you're very confident that you're going to find what it is that you're looking for. Now, this message is just for some of you. It could be that with this Eight of Cups energy, you and the the thing that I'm feeling is you're leaving the past in the past, and you're looking towards the future for better things, for that breakthrough moment you know you're looking for that four of wands energy that's going to be something that's everlasting something that's going to give you that hope that fire right that feeling of being fully uh, fulfilled ten of pentacles yeah you're looking for that happiness you're looking for that new beginning coming forward you know that passion that eight, uh, Ace of Pentacles, you know, I, I feel like that's what you're looking for, Aquarius. You're looking for more. And I feel like you know that you deserve more than what you have at the moment, right? So let's take a look at your money before we clarify. Let's see what's coming out for Aquarius and their money and career situation in May. Um, for a lot of the signs, I've, I've noticed that a lot of the signs are soul searching. They're really soul searching. They're really trying to find what makes them happy, you know, trying to find that fulfillment. And a lot of the signs have been actually going through healing in this month. Um, I feel like there could be a lot of things that are going on mentally, physically, and emotionally. Um that are putting you into that healing mode right okay we have the justice card we have the eight of pentacles we have the five of swords we have the eight of swords and we have the emperor energy okay so my beautiful aquarius at the bottom, we have the Knight of Wands. So I really feel like, you know, you're running after your passion this month. You, you could be starting a business. You could be starting a new venture, starting a new job. But I feel like you're running after your passion. You're trying to find something that gives you more excitement. If that means leaving a job for a new job, I feel like you are doing that. You know, there's a lot of swords here in this... Um, 
finance section, right? So I feel like you're caught in your head. There may be some things that are kind of keeping you conflicted. Uh, but I feel like, you know, these things are all in your head, my beautiful Aquarius. These things that are holding you back from what you're dreaming about doing is all in your head. It's your emotional um, thoughts that are conflicting with your ability to do something because you have the ability. You know, there's something that you're trying to perfect here. You're trying to master something. You're trying to, you know, put a lot of work into a situation to bring more um, stability, you know. And I feel like with this justice card in the middle, your overall energy is the justice card. So I feel like this is creating a lot of balance. This is Libra energy coming through with this justice card. So it's bringing a lot of balance and it's going to you know, right a wrong, okay? So I feel like if you were treated unfair in the past, if you were treated unfair um, with a, a certain institution or corporation that you were dealing with, I feel like that's going to be made right, okay? This is karmic energy coming forward. So whatever work that you've been putting in the past is going to come out in the month of May as a reward. So you're being rewarded for those efforts of those past things that you've done. And with this emperor energy, the emperor, he's an entrepreneur. You know, he can build something out of nothing. Okay. And he, he's taking control of the situation. He's also a very expert investor. Okay. So he knows where to put his money to build more money. He knows how to um, be an authority when it comes to, you know, making his money work for him. He doesn't work for his money. He makes his money work for him, right? So I feel like in the month of May, there's something that you're perfecting, but I feel like you're getting more knowledge. You're getting more um, abundance from the situation, right? Um, there's a lot of work and effort that you're putting into this and you're working on um, bringing things into balance. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at what is going to be challenging you before we go ahead and clarify. What is going to be Aquarius's challenge for the month of May? What is going to be Aquarius's challenge for the month of May, Spirit? Give me a message for Aquarius. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles. I'm getting with the Seven of Pentacles that you're waiting for something to happen. Um, I feel like you're not very satisfied with the way things are going. We have the chariot energy again. So I definitely feel like you're moving in a new direction. Um, but I feel like whatever you're doing, um, you feel like it's not working the way you expect it to work. Right? You're just waiting for something to happen. You're waiting for that movement. For something to start moving in the direction that you expect it to go. And now I do feel like, you know, you are trying to be very patient in the situation, but I do feel like with the six of swords energy, there will be improvement. You will start to move in the right direction. Right now we see that, you know, with the seven of pentacles, she's watching something grow but it's kind of impatiently she's like expecting it to happen overnight right and i feel like you know she has this reserve of two pinnacles on the side over here but she's waiting for the rest of these pinnacles to be ready and it's like it's not happening fast enough okay so i feel like you know your challenge for the month of May is going to be waiting and really um, seeing that what you're waiting for may be a false expectation because 
movement in the direction that you need to go is going to bring more calmness, more improvement, okay? And I feel like there's going to be some kind of offer that's going to bring you that abundance that you need, that, um, that answer that you need. You're going to get good news in the month of May, you know, but I feel like you're, you're going to get that good news when you're not expecting it. It's going to come as a surprise, okay? There'll be some sort of offer that maybe you have forgotten about that you're going to get a surprise um, acceptance for. Right? It could be a new job coming forward for you. Um, um, for some of you, I'm getting you're going to receive that uh, credit card in the mail for a uh, credit card that you had forgotten that you had applied for. Right? Or it could also be some kind of loan approval that you aren't expecting to be approved. But I feel like, you know, when that approval comes, it's going to be a surprise. It's going to be, you know, very unexpected. We have the Ace of Swords energy. So I really feel like, you know, you have the Ace of Swords twice. You have the Chariot twice. Um, so things are moving in the right direction. Things are becoming more clear to you in the month of May. You know, you're getting a lot of clarity. We have the Ten of Cups. So things are becoming more clear and you are feeling more happy about your situation. There's a lot of happiness and abundance here, right? Um, this could also be a feeling of being fully fulfilled, okay? And like your dreams are coming true. Things are becoming more clear and making more sense to you during the month of May. You, you finally realize why things are happening the way that they are. Now, with this Ace of Swords energy, this could also be, you know, your ideas becoming more sharp. Your ideas, you know, being more fruitful, okay? We have the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. The King of Wands is in the reverse, though. The King of Wands, you know, he's being a little sneaky, right? Um, so, let's see. Okay, we'll go ahead and take a look at these other messages and get a little bit of clarity okay so spirit give me a message why is the star and the chariot here okay right away temperance wanted to come out okay so I feel like and the two of pentacles at the bottom okay so Aquarius, right now you're going through a healing, you know, you're going through healing and, you know, you are trying very hard to find the meaning of something, you know, something's been weighing very heavily on you as far as your relationships have gone and, you know, you're trying to figure out the why things are the way that they are, but you're also trying to have a lot of patience in your situation um but the chariot it's moving onward you know just trusting that you're going in the right direction you know the uni the universe is leading you in the direction to where you need to be you know and i feel like right now at this very moment you may be right where you need to be the the chariot is also a card of success okay um it's also a card of self-discipline you know having that self-control temperance is the same way temperance is having patience right finding that balance mixing something together that that um alchemy you know, pouring something together, mixing something. So I, I'm, I'm really getting that as your emotions are mixing, as your emotions are healing, right? You're moving into a new direction. You're moving into the space where you were meant to be. Okay, so something 
is about to happen that's destined to happen for you. And you're, you're going through that destiny after letting go or releasing of some sort of burden that was holding you down. It was, it was keeping you locked up or uh, holding you back from the situation. The, the Page of Pentacles, you know, this is all about desire. Craving something new. Like, it's a feeling of just wanting better when you know you deserve it. Right? And the, uh, the Ace of Pentacles, excuse me, the Ace of Swords, is like finally having that breakthrough moment. Where you're like, yeah, yeah, I do deserve more. You know, I deserve better than this. And so I'm going to release what this is that's holding me back so that I can have better. And I feel like with this Two of Pentacles energy, you're finally making that a priority. You're finally, you know, accepting the choices for your greatest good. We have one pinnacle lower and the other pinnacle higher. You know... The, the lower pinnacle is the one that, you know, you, you know you can do better. The higher pinnacle, and he's not touching it yet, but the higher pinnacle is, yes, this is the more that I deserve. This is what I deserve. This is what I want, right? So, Spirit, give me a message. Why is the page of pinnacles and the, the ace of swords here? Give me a message. This one wanted to come out. The Queen of Cups. Yeah. There's new love coming in for you. Okay. If you're in a relationship, if you are walking away from a relationship for some reason or another, there's new love here with this uh, Queen of Cups energy. And I feel like this Queen of Cups energy is very supportive, you know. But this Queen of Cups may be testing the water. She may be trying to figure you out. You know, because she's dipping her toes in that water and she's testing the waters to see how it makes her feel. Okay, she's running on emotion. She's also protecting her cup, right? So she doesn't want to lose anything from that cup. So she's protecting that cup so that her feelings are locked in that cup, right? So that... Um, she can have that protection. Spirit, give me a message. Why is the Queen of Cups here? Who is this Queen of Cups? Oh, the Seven of Wands. So, I feel like this Queen of Cups is showing out. We also have the Queen of Swords at the bottom. I feel like this Queen of Cups is showing out because, you know, there's... I feel like in your past relationships, you were probably very defensive or you may have dealt with a person who was very defensive and that became a little overburdened for you. You know, that was just a little bit too much that that always kept your emotions running high. So I, I feel like with this Queen of Cups energy, you're looking for someone who balances you out, someone who understands your truth and someone who can see clearly the person that you are and not have those high expectations of the person they want you to be, right? I feel like this Queen of Cups is, is working on herself with the Eight of Pentacles. She's working on herself. She's finding out her truth. She's, she's willing to go that, that extra mile to, you know, get that clarity, to have that new perception of herself. You know, it could be that at the moment you feel like you're not worthy of a situation with this Empress in reverse. You know, you may feel like you're just not enough or like something was smothering you. Something was just holding you back. You know, something was being very selfish. You know, someone was being very selfish. Could be your energy, Aquarius. But I feel like you're moving past that energy. You're moving past that energy and moving into something that's more stable. You're moving into something where you can create something that is going to bring you freedom in your situation. Right? 
that's what you're looking for. You're looking for that freedom. Being set free. Okay? Having the... Being set free to love like you want to be loved. You know? Have the emotions you want to have. Okay? Okay, with the Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Swords, we have the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. So, Four of Four. Okay? So, Four of Four may be very important to you. Now, with the Four of Pentacles and the Four of Swords, I feel like your focus is on protecting the, the finances that you have. You know, your focus is on conserving as much of your money as you can you know and you still want to live well you still want to be able to take care of yourself you still want to have that that stability you know but you're being very frugal at this time Aquarius you know you're thinking about where this money is going and how you can conserve um, as much of it as you can while still being able to uh, take care of yourself and see things through, which is which is very understandable. I, I totally agree with that. Give me a message. Why is the Eight of Swords and the Emperor here? Give me a message. Why is the Eight of Swords and the Emperor here? The Three of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay. We also have the sun energy on the bottom. So I feel like, you know, there's going to be some happiness in collaborating with someone. I feel like there's someone that you're going to be teaming up with. There's someone that you're going to be working with when it comes to your money situation. It could be that you're starting a new relationship with someone and you're able to combine your incomes. But I feel like, you know, this is happiness. This is being fulfilled, being restored. You know, the sun restores energy to the earth, right? And also when you look at the sun, there's like a awakening. Like this, I want to say ability to see things more clearly. You know, because you can see things more clearly in the sunlight. You know, it's like, it's highlighted right i don't know why i'm getting that but with this queen of wands in reverse i feel like you know you have this emperor in this emperor energy who wants to take control of the situation but still i feel like with this queen of wands in reverse there's still some insecurities which totally conflicts. And we have that with the Five of Swords. Conflicting energy, right? The, the Emperor totally conflicts with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Because the Queen of Wands in reverse is not confident. You know, there, there's a lack of confidence. There's insecurity. There's instability. You know, there's, there's a lack of action. Well, the emperor is saying, you know, I have control of this, you know, so I feel like there's like a battle going on and I feel like the battle is all is mostly in your head with this eight of swords energy. That's that that's that energy that is keeping you locked in your thoughts and your thoughts are very conflicting at the moment. OK, Aquarius. Because I feel like you're doubting yourself when it comes to your abilities. And I feel like you shouldn't. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands and the Emperor. Give me a message about this Queen of Wands and the Emperor. Give me a message, Spirit. Yeah, the Ten of Cups. Yeah, fulfillment. Look at this. Judgment on the bottom. Being fully restored. You know, having that second chance. Having that rebirth. Stepping out of your comfort zone. This is all the judgment, you know. Um, but I feel like there's happiness. There's more of an awareness with your finances in May. And I feel like this is new energy. 
okay this is something that you may not be aware of right now as you're reading as you're listening to this reading you may not be fully aware that you know the thoughts that you have are conflicting with how you are reacting in your situation you know your thoughts may be like i'm on this emperor energy okay but the way that you're doing things is i'm insecure i'm not confident have more confidence in yourself walk the walk and talk the talk right you know if if you're if you're thinking one way and acting another, you know, that's very conflicting energy. You can't, you can't have success doing that. You have to unlock your mind and, you know, remove yourself from these swords of this Eight of Swords energy, right? So give me a message for uh, the Fortune Oracle. For Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius? Okay, we have unity, a time of divine understanding, renewal, peace, and hope. You radiate and attract great love. So I'm definitely, like I said, I feel like new love is coming to you in the month of May. Okay, if you're single, new love is on your horizon. Okay, so let's take a look at number 34 and see what that says. Number 34. Okay, this card is all about emotions, feelings, developments, and rewards. There is a greater sense of harmony surrounding relationships and new projects. Your career or business will fulfill you, but be prepared for an unexpected twist of fate. This card signifies a harmonious union between two people and you may come together with a person of great energy who will uplift your life. It also foretells two people bonding through an emotional connection. Okay, For relationships, this card represents two people in similar beliefs and traditions bound together in a soulmate experience. You desire more intimacy intimacy, <laughs> sorry, in your life and long for a deep emotional connection. You have opened up your heart and let go of restrictions of the past and are now free to show your true feelings and make long-term decisions. There are definite changes ahead and progress in most relationships is likely. Trust and communication will be strong and now is an auspicious time for commitments and proposals in all kinds of relationships. It can also be a symbol of seduction, foretelling desire and passion, and an incredible, strong, deep connection for money and career. A new business or a project is likely even a new job. Real estate investments, either buying or selling, could also be offered to you. You could find yourself in the driver's seat and be thrilled with what is being proposed. Okay? Your power tip. Place happy photos of yourself and your partner, family, loved ones in heart-shaped pink frames in your bedroom and living area. Round items such as coasters and dining tables and gold balls in a bowl symbolize unity, enlightenment, perfection, and a fountain of water feature can bring peace and good luck to the whole household. Remember to play sensual, soothing music to Create a healthy, harmonious environment. Okay, so that is your fortune oracle card. So let's go ahead and get your angel number. See what we have for Aquarius. What angel numbers spirit do we have for Aquarius for the month of May? Okay, we have 1717, self-reliance. Time has come to rely on your knowledge, your wisdom, your ambition. 
you have an important mission and life purpose. Leaning on your inner strength will allow more of your path to unfold ahead. Your affirmation, as I take leadership of my life, my life brings a flow of good fortune and good blessings. Okay, so that is your reading, my lovely Aquarius. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate with you, make sure that you take a look at your other placements. They may be sending you more of a message. And until your next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.